So hey guys, welcome to the new video. Today in this video, we are going to see that how can you debug that error that is like localhost refused to connect. So this error generally occurs because of three reasons. One is that your server is not running either or uh, your server has crashed or maybe your app has crashed. Okay, so and the third reason is uh, you are accessing the wrong port. So let's move in our VS code and check for this uh, and check for this error. So this is our VS code. Now I will open a folder from desktop and I have a Python folder. Let me access it. So this is my folder and I will be creating an app here named as app.py from flask import flask that's it. Now you have to create your app instance that is flask underscore underscore name. Now what you have to do is you have to create routes for this app at app dot route. Yeah, this one. We need just uh, just a single route to check our application. And for this this uh, this will be the function, and this will return hello world. That's it. If name equals main, then you have to run this app with debug mode. Uh, let's say uh, uh, let let the debug mode be on. That is true. Okay, that's it for this uh, server maybe. Now, let's try running this app. Okay, let me show you uh, that the default port of default port of uh, you can say flask is 5000. Let's go in our browser and access this port. So, let's access localhost 5000. You can see that localhost refused to connect. The reason is only that your server is not running uh, currently. Now let's run this app. So you can see that our app is running now and the uh, address is localhost 5000. Now if we, uh, if we try running this app, boom, uh, you have successfully debugged your code. Now there is one more reason like accidentally have quoted this terminal or server. This is another reason for this, uh, you can say, error. You can see that this is uh, occurring again because you have accidentally quit the server. And the third reason was you are accessing the wrong port. That is, uh, let me show you. Let's return our server again. Okay, so this was at 5000 port. Now let's change this one to 5001. You can see that localhost refused to connect. Okay, you just need to make sure these things and uh, you can now debug your localhost refused to connect error. So that's it for this video guys. Now let's see you next time.